Hello, I'm Edward Tart, math teacher. This is one in a series of solution videos to some of my math challenges. This is the challenge that has an exclamation point in the title. Here is sound from my presentation of the challenge in the original video. This is about the notation of a counting number followed by an exclamation mark, such as this. It's called four factorial. It means four times three times two times one. You count from the given number down to one and multiply. And so four factorial turns out to be equal to 24. If you have 5 factorial, that will be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Which equals 120. If we are making a list of factorials, this one will be the first one to have a zero on the end. And that's what this challenge is about. Zeros on the end of factorial answers. Six, seven, eight, and nine factorial all have the zero on the end. When we get to 10 factorial, that turns out to equal, well, you get it by 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 3,628,800. And that has two zeros on the end. From here on, indefinitely, there will be zeros on the end of the answer. And now we have the challenge. I take a number that I remember from my childhood. According to the 1940 census, to the best of my recollection, the small Kansas town in which I grew up had 3,824 inhabitants. My parents, my brother, and I were the four. So my challenge to you is this. The value of 3,824 factorial has how many zeros on the end? Well, there were a bunch of respondents to that. Some had the correct answer. Some didn't. Here is the reasoning process of several of the respondents. We notice that the first answer to have a zero on the end is 5 factorial. Uh, it has one zero on the end. 10 factorial has two zeros on the end. Uh, 15 factorial has three zeros on the end. Every time you come to a multiple of 5, you can pair that 5 with a 2. There are plenty of 2's. To, uh, every 5 can find a 2. And 5 times 2 is 10. That's what produces a 0 on the end of the factorial answer. So every multiple of 5 produces a 0 on the end. So we can divide 3,824 by 5, and we get 764. And the conclusion is that the answer is 3,824 factorial has 764 zeros on the end. Well, that is not correct because it doesn't go far enough. We have to think more deeply. Uh, what we've said so far is true, but every multiple of 5 times 5, that is every multiple of 25, puts another zero on the end. So we must also divide 3,824 by 25, which gives 152.
but we mustn't stop there. We must consider multiples of 5 times 5 times 5, which is 125. So we divide by 125, which gives 30 additional zeros. And a step further, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, that's 625. That gives 6 additional zeros. And one step further, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, which is 3,125, that gives one additional zero. That's as far as we go. And so we get the correct final answer by adding these results. And they add up to a grand total of 953. And that is the correct answer. There are 953 zeros on the end of 3,824 factorial. So there you have my factorial solutions. I invite you to visit my profile page, find my math videos playlist, and perhaps look for some math videos that you haven't seen yet that may give you mental stimulation and pleasure. Thank you for watching this video.